hello hello guys once again welcome to farming in africa and i hope you guys like my new hat i actually got it in south africa yesterday um i haven't updated you guys in two days and i apologize for that because the trip here in south africa has been an amazing one guys i can't believe you guys the things that i've been exposed to so i think i left you guys off when i was visiting the hay farms so yes i went to visit some hay farms learn how alfalfa is grown and maintained well at a larger scale and from there we went to george and as you guys know i've been preaching about artificial insemination right and I, you know i was here with godfred in south africa who was coming to study artificial insemination so what i did is basically drop godfred at school and make sure that he was settled in and ready to learn about artificial insemination if you don't know what artificial insemination is it's basically the act of collecting um sperm from a male whether being it a cow a pig a, um, a sheep whatever animal it is and then basically inserting that semen into um, a doe or a female animal to cause pregnancy so we know that we've been trying to cross breed but bringing these breeds especially the south african breeds into ghana are so expensive and so much regulations and therefore the easiest way and fastest way for us to multiply this breed is by doing artificial insemination and that's why girlfriend is here to do that so basically i dropped him at school um and he's there and i left him to cape town and cape town i met with um another food nutritionist um where we went into a lot of conversation around how to improve livestock feed the nutrients and chemicals that is needed and at the moment we are sending samples from ghana to south africa to be tested so we want to know what is the nutritious quantity or volume of in corn what is the nutritious components in our wheat brown in um in the cementia grass um in the soya that we are going to add and everything so once that's settled then we can really plan the component of the feed right so that's what we did then we met another company that does a lot of animal gut um, nutrients to help with goat gut which will be missed with our food as well it was a lot of nutrition conversation i think that was on um on a saturday and then on monday no that was on monday yeah and then on tuesday we came back and also started working on genetics so how do we get the pure genetic semen into ghana and um we've been meeting with some amazing people learning about embryo development and learning the difference between semen and embryo which is basically a fertilized or developed semen where we are able to tell a male from a female um semen so let's say godfred comes back to ghana and is able to collect a semen from a goat through technology we're able to separate those cells and tell which one is a male or a female so in the next four years i promise you guys we will be able to put an embryo in your goat female and tell you that this goat is going to deliver a female you know what that means to us that means that we will be able to multiply our stock faster because when you do natural crossing you don't know what 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 your goat is going to have whether it's going to be female or male and mostly with goats they do like two or three and they will do male and a female what this is is we are actually going to be sure that these goats Sarah, let's go we're going to be sure that these goats are actually going to have two birth and they are all going to be females this is the technology that we are bringing to west africa guys and i am super super excited to share with you today we are going to another farm we're going to visit a farmer who is doing um intensive farming and he's here to pick us so fortune hi william good, how are you i'm good how are you no, I'm you want to say hi to my guys hello yeah. guys hello guys <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna go to your farm yes well, yes. how long is it from here it's about an hour and 10 minutes an hour and 30 minutes all right let's okay. go yes. yeah right. and this is senna all right guys so i have to leave you this morning because we have to get work done so let's go and see this farm i'm very excited about this farm because it is what i think most of you do in west africa which is an intensive system of farming it's it's been mind-blowing seeing south africans with 
4,000 hectares of land. We don't have that. So I'm trying to connect with farmers that have less land and are doing something similar to what we are doing. Let me show you this, guys. See, so that is the Af farmers dressing in South Africa. I don't know, I'm pulling up the West African dressing here too. I don't know if you guys can see me, but yeah, man, fun times. I'm very excited about this farm. So we're gonna get into his pickup and basically drive away um, and keep you guys updated. So tomorrow I'm gonna share more information with you and give you more updates on what happened in this farm and what we're doing there. All right, guys, I gotta go. So I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye-bye.